Hi everybody and welcome. Hi Lori. Hi Sherry. Welcome. If this is your first, this is your first time. Well, welcome, and I'm so happy you joined us. Yesterday you got to see the real fun show, and I'm telling you, we had an absolute ball. Sally flew in from New York and actually uh, put that all together. The scene, the set. She's a natural in front of the camera, so we're still waiting for Hallmark to to grab sight of her, right? So I'm just, I just realized I have a, I broke a fingernail. out. We're sorting all this wonderful paper this morning because I want to go through and show you guys um, up close. I know it was a little hard on our, hi, Debbie, on the other video. I broke a finger now. Don't you just hate that? And I want you to see the paper lines um, a little more personal up close because I have had so much fun. Oh my gosh. I know Sally just makes all the shows fun and enjoyable. Um, this all started with a little collection called Bee House and the Bee House will be reprinted. And actually I'm not going to show the Bee House because it's being used in our virtual retreat. But for the project, this is what I'm using is our the Bee House, which is my very first collection. And in the project, the Bee House was the part of the inspiration for the theme of our um, virtual retreat that's happening next month. And it is sold out right now, but we have um, some special projects. So I started with a small eight and a half by 11 that's going to be um, available in March, not available yet because I need to keep it exclusive for the retreat right now. And then things just went from there. I saw that here in the United States, we really need to bring this look. I needed to bring, uh, I, I have such a hard time getting foreign papers. They're beautiful, but I found out a lot of the artists are right here in the United States. So um, my thoughts were, I need to make this jump. Let's bring it to the United States. We've got designers here in the US and I'm going to utilize the designer and with their help, we created these lines right here in the United States. And it's printed in ba basically my back door just up the street. So we're helping not only some other small businesses stay in business and succeed, which is re I'm really happy with. Hi, Terry. I'm so happy that we're able to keep other businesses in business. And then we're shipping right here from the United States. Everything's USA based. So one question I got, I want to go through and answer a lot of questions from our live last night. The live is still, or yesterday, you can still watch the video recording. It, Sally's just, a, I love working with her. Um, sticker sheets and embellishments. Well, I'm utilizing like Prima. I put together a lot of their older uh, flowers, but they are sold out. There are more coming. They, they, there are tons more coming. And I do want you to know that I buy as many as possible, bring it in, but then you guys buy it. And I'm so grateful because we really didn't think, but we sold out of our first print run. It's printing right now. So don't worry. You'll never have to worry about getting our papers, my papers. And so embellishment stickers, sticker sheets, chipboards, things that you're used to with other collections. I'm not there yet. <laughs> That's kind of another jump. And another thing that happens is those have to be made in China. I really don't know anyone in the U.S. that makes them. And that's where I'm struggling. I do not want to take it out of the United States. So my designers is going, are with the designers and uh, Kathy Clements did a lot of fussy cutting. And she's going to show and they show you there's tons of elements to fussy cut. And Sally yesterday in the show, she showed all. Oh, thank you for the comment. She showed all the fabulous fussy cutting she did. Hi, Elizabeth. And Elizabeth, the creation of this line, when I saw those bunnies, I said, this is hers. She's going to, I hope she loves it. So those are, like I said, I'm just starting with answering some questions. Fussy cutting though works really best with a really good pair of either small sewing scissors. I love the EK Success. I could not fussy cut until the EK Success. I tried the mini Tim Holtz, but they have a serrated edge and I just never was happy. They're, they're great scissors though. 
I use these. I have three pairs. We do sell them at Country Craft Creations. They are the best fussy cutting scissors around. And I'm really enjoying. You'll see me do a lot of it in my, I've been doing a lot of it in my tutorials. So fussy cutting is kind of where we're going with these lines. Like I said, I do not want to have to move it on to China. And I also want to show you the two different textures that I have because they're, and I'm going to score them with you. And they're absolutely fabulous. And they're so great uh, to work with. Yes, EK6S is one. They're the best scissors. Um, so basically, Behouse started it. And then Country Bunny is the one that I'm so, this one is my very first 12 by 12. So this one I am very, very fond of. Sally's like, I know the the, the other one's beautiful, but this one's this one's got my heart. So. Also, that I'm getting so many thousands of emails, text messages, and Facebook, and I'm not ignoring you. Please know um, things are kind of crazy right now for me. Just these last few days, I'm, I always try to get right back with you, but I may not be able to get right back to you right now. Um, my head, not only is my head swimming, but we are getting everything sorted and organized to start shipping out on Tuesday. There's no mail Monday. Thank goodness gives us that time. But um, if you need to combine orders, absolutely. But you're going to just have to go order on the website. I can't offer that for you to get those invoices. I just can't. They're getting lost in, in the emails. So if you order, I am or my Michelle and shipping, we'll see those and we will refund the shipping. So have no fear. And if your order is $85 or more, it's going to be free shipping anyway. Thank you, Lillian. And and Penny Kindbloom, thank you. Thank you. I'm so happy to see you here too because there's so many people that I thought about when I was designing these papers. I thought about every one of you because the paper companies, it's time to get some different looks out. Like I said, it's time to bring them into the U.S. It's time to keep them here in the U.S. And that's what we're doing. So you'll be seeing some more lines all throughout this year. I'm very excited. But let's take an up close and personal look at Country Bunny. Now, Country Bunny, I'm going to show you the smooth line because I need to show you some differences. Want something similar? I'm sure there's something like that. Um, Cindy, you know what? And I will look into that. Yes, I will be looking into all kinds of things. But I wanted to get my paper. And I know um, I've got um, Shotzi, the, hap, uh, the naughty woodcutter. And we and I'm carrying these in the store. I did show these. I, oh, I do have here. Let me show you the set. Let me grab one size. These are the most beautiful and reasonably priced wood. And here's the difference with with using this small business. And these are cut right here in, in the United States. Shotzi cuts them with her company, um, the Naughty Woodcutter. Um, the care, just the technique. And the fact that she can specialize what I asked for. When I asked her to do the little gnomies that you're seeing my design team use, the gnomies um, were just from a picture. And Shotzi uh, then designed them, cut them. But look, they're not super thin. They're not going to break. And just the quality is 100% better than anything we could get anywhere else. But this is the size of the wood tag I used. And like I said, they're not expensive. And they are I love them. Love them because I'll tell you what, gifts. Now, all of these charms will be in the web, on the website for, for sale on Tuesday. We've got the bunnies that match. And, of course, then I just used some buttons from my stash. See, I fussy cut. I fussy cut. Yes, the wood tags are online, and actually, I need to get another order in with Shotzi, and she's fast. Quick turnaround. And so one thing I want to show you, you're going to see this beautiful green lace, and it did come in. So I'm going to be showing that, and it also will be online Tuesday. It has a beautiful celery green color to it, and it goes with not only the country bunny, but it also goes with, with the um, Forever Ireland. So country bunny seam binding very simple technique you just wad it in your hands and it becomes all crinkled and then i i did put this on the back and they make beautiful beautiful oh my gosh they just make beautiful gifts <clears throat> so your country bunny 
And on the smooth paper, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be scoring these with you. And I want to show you how beautiful you'll see Kathy Clements scored hers and did not even back it in cardstock. It just scored so beautifully. Now, smooth versus the, um, the Bristol. Have you ever used a watercolor paper or you know the notebooks you can buy that are for sketching with your charcoal pens? That's the type of paper it is when it's the vellum bristol um it's perfect if you're a stamper um if you want to make junk journals it's a little bit lighter just a little bit lighter it's going to be more 65 pounds this is 67 pounds the smooth and you can stamp it beautifully if you're not a stamper just go with um just go with the smooth because i'll tell you what you can still score it and it will not crack will not crack so your country bunny um, also, the cover sheet, do not throw these away. These are so usable. Even these little squares, so usable. So you're going to want to keep those. So let's start with the first page. Like I said, this is smooth. And as soon as Sally gets down to, no, that's not. Oh, I, I'll be uh, scoring one of these. This is, again, I am just in love how, how Kim Randall's on our design team and Kathy use these um kathy really utilized these bottom parts and made little cards that pull out just beautiful hi cindy hi jan and kim's album is to die for now they are just walkthroughs the girls were getting these together for me for our big debut and so the designers though every one of my designers are going to receive these paper lines so you're going to start seeing lots of creations with them on the back and look at the blue it's just a beautiful blue and there goes my wonderful lines across so one thing that i've picked out that we're, we have put together for you is using the my colors oh my lighting is terrible uh, this is the my colors dots to give you some texture all the colors are listed on the website then you have two eight and a half by eleven shimmers And both designers use them absolutely beautiful and beautifully in their designs. So we've got instead of that standard Easter color, pink, yellow, you know, purple, I wanted something that was a little more grown up, but I would use this. Here, let me clean off this screen, but I don't think it's my screen. Okay, we'll bring it back. I would definitely use this for a baby album. Hold on a minute. Hey, Rick, could you point some light this way for me? This is, or could you hand me um, that lamp and we'll hook it up? Maybe that will help. The, um, like I said, you can use this for a baby. I would even use it for an engagement album. Lots of uses here. Absolutely gorgeous. Little bunnies are hiding down there in the lilies and butterflies. So we're getting another light set up, guys. Hi, Vanessa. There's my favorite little bunny. Now, this is the backside without the bunny. Yes, um, Kim distressed the edges of the Bristol belly, vellum, and that, again, is taking your ink to it, and it, it'll just ink beautifully. Love this. Now, Sally cut out the little dresses. You saw them hanging from the, the tree yesterday. So, again, embellishments are absolutely wonderful, and we also have some other things that will be coming. Uh, Butterby Scraps is putting together some dangle charms that will match, but it'll be Ugh, I'd say about two weeks before I get them. Again, we're supporting, I'm supporting another small business. She makes them by hand, sends them to me, and we will uh, then get them on the website. Whoops, we got a light down. Ooh, we almost dropped the light. Hi, Sherry. Thank you. Now, this is the same uh, design that I used on the back of my tag. Can you can come over me with the light and we'll get it right on this paper. Then, oh, here's the little boy and the little girl. 
Hey, Kara. I think the lighting's better. Is the lighting better, guys? Yes, a Mother's Day book, Pamela, would be absolutely gorgeous. But we do have those Mother Day papers coming up too. So there'll be releases, you know, throughout each month. Again, another beautiful thing that can be cut out. I know we have shadows through here. Turn that light off above your head. Kill that light off your head. No. No? Okay, yeah, let's try this, guys. I want to get rid of those lines. Is, is that any better? It's not from the window. No. Here, we're just going to adjust the lighting a little bit and get it behind me. And get it behind me. This one? You know... <laughs> I know those darn lines. Yeah, but it's still better that way. Right. It's going to work for Easter. You're going to be able to um, use it for, gosh, so many things. And again, a lot of things that can be cut out. Looks like you've already got the, the coffee splashes on here. I just love it. Yeah, we're getting some more light on, guys. Our cameraman went home, so he's <laughs> lots of uh, almost gold access. Now, I cut this out. Oh, one, one color that I do have right in the store, and it's going to be your gold. So this is the Cardabella, and it is 100 pounds. But it, it's gonna, it, I put it in the coordinating paper with your – you'll see it with Forever Ireland. But golds are going to look fabulous with this. Also, your gold metallic inks. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with lights today. That's what's doing it. Here, let me take a break for just a minute. Grab me that light over there. My hot light. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're getting the hot light. There we go. Um, Pamela, oh no, you know, don't have a hard time cutting in. <laughs> hey, Sally, did you cut some of this yesterday that I can score? So I don't have to ruin yes, your sheets. I did. Again, oh, and colors, colors. So there's just those faint colors of the peachy pink and the yellow and the blue. Oh, don't you just love it? Can you just see the layout there? Out oh, Easter basket hunting, just gorgeous. Then we have, um, no, the camera's good. You know what? My day lighting, it kind of does that. And it's not my blinds. We've we've just got to get. I've got to get a different. And we've tried so many different lighting setups. But it it happens to be like night times the best. We're gonna bring the alt light in. Let's bring the oh oh yeah, and I'll score that one. That one's good. Okay. That's wow. Well, we have just now tried everything, and I don't wanna. So I do apologize, guys. I've tried all the different lighting. Took some of it, but it's still pretty dark, isn't it? Just looks like nighttime. Okay. Well, you're going to see it in your hands anyway. So then we have this one I love. And you know what? A lot of people don't didn't see it. But when you cut diagonally and you do those corner po pockets, then you've got this beautiful corner pocket setting. And then on the back side, you've got it really light. Now, there's all three of our bunnies together. Oh, 
Oh, you can see fine. Okay. Well, we Rick's added some extra light to my left, so I think that really did help. Oh, and the back side. The back side. Again, if you love to make junk journal journals, let's see, should I buy the paper today or wait till next week when the flowers and ribbons are restocked? Uh, Debbie, you can definitely wait. Like I said, this is my paper, my printing. It's going to be in stock. You don't have to worry about the paper part running out. Um, the only thing we do have to worry about running out is always the embellishments. I order in what I think. It's a very hard thing to think these days for me. <laughs> but uh, if you want to wait, no, you can wait till next week. Absolutely. And the embellishments, the rest of the flowers will be in. Now, this is the great fussy cutting page. You have three by threes down here at the bottom and top. You've got this great area. This would make a really neat big belly band. Or again, you can just fussy cut out the butterflies. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be showing all the papers. And I'm going to tell you about um, the recipe paper also, uh, Lori. Absolutely. And then you've got these little th three by threes. So this is going to be great for your cards. The back has that very faint. Just trying really hard to get some light on there for you. Uh, tea stain look that we're just all loving. And this is the main fussy cutting page. So the, everything is sized down smaller for you. Um, and Kim just said that she cut a lot of the butterflies, a lot of them, and they were very easy to cut. So did Kathy Clements. She said it was very easy to cut. Hi, Erica. Thank you. Thank you so much. And you guys, I don't know why the comments on um, Facebook stopped showing up. And I, I do see them. So I'm trying to look up with you guys. And then we have more of a, the pink is kind of mixed in. So you've got lots of uses. Now, before I move on to, before I move on to uh, Forever Ireland and the kitchen line. I'm going to do, I want to score this with you because I want to show you something. A lot of times you want to use your papers and you want to wrap boxes or you want to, you just want to score it. Sometimes you don't want to use that, uh, a cardstock, but I'm going to go ahead and score a couple half inches all the way down. Maybe you want to make your pinwheels or something. And the one thing when I was, going about now this is the smooth I have shown it oh no I have not shown it on this is the smooth and so I have scored this paper I the only thing is I did score it a little lighter than I would on my artisan but I am not being gentle as I'm burnishing this because I want you to see exactly what happens. And I'm actually using my fingernail in that group because it went crooked because I didn't score hard enough. I just didn't want to go through the paper. And I want you up close. So we could call this up close and personal with our paper. <laughs> oh, I'm just sad. Anyway, you see this? This paper did not crack and it will not crack. And get it in the light so you can see there is no fuzzy edges. There is no fuzzy cracking. So when I worked with, I'm actually working with two different printers because they, they're working in conjunction, but you can see it's absolutely beautiful. It doesn't look all raggedy and, and shattered. I take it back. That was that was the Bellamy one. Now I'm going to do the smooth. Sorry. The smooth is a little bit heavier. Yeah, this is the smooth because it's a little bit heavier. But when you're doing a junk journal, you also don't want uh, you don't want a lot of heavy cardstock, and that's what your Bristol paper is mostly designed for. It's for those of you who do your junk journals and you score these in half. And even if I was just to go ahead and fold it, you can see 
trying to keep it in the light with you. So I really want you to see, and you're going to play with it when you get it. It does not, there's no cracking. All right. This is the smooth. Yeah, sorry, that one wasn't, this is a little bit heavier. So I'll be using the smooth in my uh, mini album creations. But you want to see this? It did not crack. Again, the smooth because of the amount of cotton in here. I've, I've chosen papers. Oh, we are actually, yeah, we're going to make a little one in our December daily. And in the bee retreat, um, Sandy is, is showing a small one. And also, the... Um, we'll be we will be doing some junk journals as we move forward. I'm going to be combining the mini album and junk journal together. Uh, where oh, I sell these in the store, and these are whoop, dress my craft, and they are the pencil bone folders. And I would get you a link, but I oh I can't right now. Do you see this? And I'm playing with this. This is my smooth. It will not crack on you. And you can't really do that with any other, try it with any other line. Smooth, it's going to crack, but this does not crack. So let's move on. Move our bunny. So bunny smooth, I hope that answered your questions. Whether you want to use the smooth, I am going to have more of the smooth in stock though. The smooth is going to be perfect for all your creations. So don't worry. It's it's not. But it's it's nice. Now, again, this this is the Ireland. Oh, and Bunny. Ten sheets. So there's two sheets of each design. Rhonda, hello. Thank you. Thank you, Rhonda. I need to send you a special surprise because you're always there helping when we need those links. Ireland forever. You have the 24 sheets. Because it um, has eight designs. Ireland Forever. Again, this was my the second one. Pretty excited about this one too. But I wanted an, a paper for St. Patty's Day that was not childish. That was not fun. I mean, this to me is fun. But I wanted you to be able to have a paper. Did you go to... Did you go to Ireland? Did you take a trip maybe? You, do you want to journal it? I wanted a paper that was going to, you, you can use it for anything. Again, you're going to have three sheets. I don't need to do any more scoring because I showed you on the smooth how wonderful it is. Good morning. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Hi Michelle. And again, three sheets of each design. And look at the back. We went with the bigger notes. That's one thing. I want to see the notes and I want to see the words. And then again, a lot of staining. Maybe you visited that castle in Ireland. And we'll cut this across. Put this on the front of an album. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Here's This is one of my favorites. This is Pot of Gold. So that is where the gold comes in. Especially you're going to want... The coordinating cardstock. So we have gold. Now this is the brand new artisan, and this one is the artisan in the olive, and it goes just gorgeous with this. Then I've chosen, and the cut like I said, the colors are on the names on the website. This is the dots. The my colors dots and also in a grayish to go with some coordination here. Then we have a shimmer and the beautiful cranberry zine. And then a little lighter tone color. And there's gold. It's just I had cut the gold and the gold is heavy. It's like the 100 pounds. So it's very heavy, but it worked really well for cutting all this. And, oh, there's a blue. There is actually a blue on the website. I guess I did not grab that over in the pile. But there is a blue that matches perfect. Uh, an eight and a half by 11. 
Oh, Sally. Um, I don't know. She's. I think she ran up to get on the phone. She's on the phone. She's watching. Oh, she's on the phone. Her daughter. And there is. Now you'll notice the back has that starting of the horseshoe here for the pot of gold. So the back kind of mimics your front without your without your thing. Now the Ireland is, I don't have the Ireland in smooth. It will just be in your Bristol, but it's beautiful. That's very, oh, you know what, Marlo? That's going to be gorgeous. Marlo just bought the Ireland paper for an anniversary book for her husband's parents' wedding pictures. They were married on St. Patrick's Day. That's going to be so awesome. Thank you, Michelle. And I can't wait to get this in the designer's hands. Now, the designers, uh, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't ask for a better designer. We've got such a great team and they will be, I know creating you guys some wonderful projects with this. And this was an actual ledger that had been scanned in from an antique store. I believe. Oh, Tanya, I love you guys. Thank you so much. And again, we've got the backside without the, the images, but is she, is she not the most precious thing you've ever seen? Love this one. Again, more. This is actually from when you read this, it's really cool. The provisions of this re receipt shall in ensure the benefit. And it goes down through about the shipment of 100 pounds or less. It was an actual. These are actual scanned and um, items that the copyright was was paid for so that it could be scanned in onto these these lines amazing look at the clocks on the back <laughs> well be patient with this there is no mail monday and uh, we're going to probably have to have three to five days three to five days for shipping you it's not going to be our usual out the door i apologize I am overwhelmed. I was so afraid that maybe all this it's quite an investment and that it wasn't going to sell. And you guys, you just came through. Um, Cindy, yes, you are the cutest little redhead Irish girl, to say the least. And you do need this paper. <laughs> so we have the horseshoe again, but we have made the road always rise to meet you. May the wind be always to your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and may the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hands. Now, one thing that's going to be really fun, Bonnie and I are setting up a flower Friday in March. And we are both going to be showing you how to create your own flowers using these papers. So um, I'm excited for that because these papers are so beautiful. The embellishments you just need to kind of keep them simple anyway. You you just want to fussy cut and use with, with the line. But again, we've got the beautiful song notes. Frame. And on this one, I'm really excited to see what Sally takes at home and does with it. Because this right here is her entryway and living room. So beautiful. Then you've just got kind of a nice wood grain to use in the back. What's nice is that when you turn this over, then you've got three sheets. So you can keep one as your main and you've got some nice background sheets. And I've had some asking. Yes, we will be using these in our actual retreats. So not this one, but you'll be using the actual papers at the retreat. So I'm really excited for that too. Here again, we have the Irish Gaelic songs. And they're, they're out there dancing. Oh, wow, Danielle, thank you so, so much. I appreciate that. Again, you've got beautiful things to cut. Beautiful junk journal. I mean, you, you just want to study this paper when you get it. Really look at it. I'm telling you, you're going to see things in here that you, you're just going to find your own fussy cutting, your own embellishments. So that one is Forever Ireland. 
eight papers so you get 24 of each and don't forget there is coordinating card stops now the one I know a lot of you have been asking me about what's cooking now there is kind of a hold up on what's cooking because what's cooking is being printed and I need to grab our coordinating cardstock that's going to go with that. So if I can get what's cooking onto the website before the first part of March, I will. So let's see, we're going, I might be able to, but no guarantee. The printer hat as is printing all these lines for me. So they can only print one at a time. Oh, Sandy, thank you, thank you. So what's cooking? Uh, what's cooking? A couple of things here. You've got some minis down here at the bottom that you can fussy cut out and use. Nothing on the back, but you'll be able to fussy cut out these little guys. Again, you can use all this fun stuff. And I just love uh, Wilbur right there. <laughs> we have some plans for Wilbur's too and papers. Now, your, your three sheets of the embellishments, they you're going to notice, it's really hard to tell, but they are actually printed on a little bit heavier paper. So, and it, it's actually considered a smooth, but to me it feels just like the other... Again, you'll be able to fussy cut, and you can also, I'm not sure if you can put this through your cut and scan or not with the black background. I'm not familiar with that. I usually just cut. No, what's cooking will not be used in our bee retreat. Our bee paper that I showed, Cami, the bee house will be being used at the bee retreat. But what's cooking won't be used there but you might see it at the Utah retreat in April. So now the back, you've got the yellow plaid. So they are double sided. And one reason as a scrapbooker myself that I wanted the double sidedness, do you know how, when you want to use them as a closure on the flap and we always have to cover the back, I didn't want them plain because we always have to back them. So you at least have a nice background. Yes, three sheets of embellishments. So it's not just one sticker sheet. It's just not one. You're going to get three. Isn't that great? Now, I love this. So what we were going for, again, was the Pyrex, the 50s. And let's see here. And the pink. Got to have the mint green back then, right? Then we've got the red dots for, again, texture, because it is textured. And then we have the, this is the shimmer, and there's a lightweight, there's a light, everything is kind of still just mixed up from yesterday when we took apart our, our, our show. Sorry, but there is a lighter colored silver. And it will all be on the website. They'll all be 12 by 12s. The back is that doily, pink doily lace. I did too, Ray. I had my grandmother and my great aunt had this fridge. And I love, 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 loved it. Did Oh, do you cut them? Oh, you do cut the embellishments, Debbie. No, they're not a punch out. When you do punch out, you got to have a special die that is created. And like I said, I'm hoping in the future that the, I'll be able to move in that direction, but we will be cutting them out. But we tried to keep the angles a little more um, rounded out. Uh, this will actually fit in a punch. So they shouldn't be too bad to cut out. Like I said, not available till March. Okay, and I did have fussy, I mean, I did have happy birthday put on that cake. So again, what an adorable, what's a birthday card? 
absolutely adorable birthday card, right? We got all the colors, the red, the mint, the pink. And so you've got more of that yellow. I chose to put it on the back of the embellishments because it also will go with every single page. This is my favorite. And this is what Julia was in the kitchen baking yesterday. Came straight out of the oven if you watched. Oh, I think it is time for a recipe swap, Cindy. Oh, Cindy, <clears throat> I'm so happy that you guys love this. And then we've got more of the solid so that you have more of those fun cherries to work with. You know, I really think cherries and bees this year. Then we're going to get a little crazy. But again, it was the 50s, oh. right? <laughs> yeah, Sally's like, oh, I love it. It was the 50s, so mom with her cupcakes, flour, sugar. And then we've got this design, but without all of the added others. Hi, Joanne. Yes, Joanne, I am making my own paper. I'm glad that you're here to see it. Well, I have to tell you something. Um, Ginger of my sister Scrapper is receiving this paper. Yes. So I know. What does that tell you? Along with my design team. Now we have, again, the background with mom and dad. So this is really cute. Maybe you have those pictures with you and grandma, you and mom, or you and your grandchild. Oh, Doris, thank you. I love this. So like I said, I'm trying, and we'll see if we can't get this out uh, before March. But I know it. I, I just, I can't, it, it's just, it won't happen. <laughs> But I do believe that by by the end of February, it's not that long. We've only got about 10 days and it should be here. This is one of my favorites too. Love, love, love this. Love the fire in the pot, the recipe cards, and the beautiful green on the back. Again, this is eight sheets. Eight sheets, so you're going to get three sheets of each paper. And if you notice, it says Betty Cooker. <laughs> Little play on words there that you have to do. Uh, yesterday's recipes for today's cook. So definitely a beautiful cover to that. Yep, recipe album. I want the stove too. It's just amazing. And we have our Pyrex dishes for our very last one. And let me turn this over. So we use the pink all the, the, the colors that were very standard at that time. Love this. So that's our papers up close and personal. <laughs> and like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this one's March. The other two are available. We'll be shipping, but shipping is going to take us three to five days. No, it's not on pre-order now because when I have it, I mean, I'll, I have it. It's just I've got it. I don't want to... Yes, Kara, recipe cards in one of your grandparents' old recipe boxes or for a wedding would be beautiful. I don't want to put it on the website and hold up your other orders because I know some of you, and we do need to get this moved out of the warehouse so more can be delivered. And they need to be able to print it as soon as they're finished completely with the other two lines. So shipping will take us three to five days. The others were working really hard to get out the door. And you're so... Thank you for your patience. But also, like I said, if you're trying to message me or email, I'm usually really quick respond, but there's going to be a delay. I'm trying. <laughs> well, um, so give me till Tuesday or Wednesday. If you don't hear back from me on an email, I know it's usually instant. Please know I'm not ignoring you at all. And this will be our March line, but keep watching because there will be another March line that comes out. So every few months you'll see these new lines, but I never will run out is the beauty of this so that you can always have it for your projects. Aren't you going to tell them how hard I'm working? Oh, Sally is. Actually, you guys, I should film her. She is working her little buns off. Work and I told her no. Voice, right? Always, okay. always, always, always. And I want to thank everybody out there for your support. And I can't wait for you guys to get this in your hands. I cannot wait for my design team to get this in your hands. Oh, the B, re oh yes. Okay. The B papers will be available after the B house. 
will be available after our virtual retreat. Actually, it has, this was my bigger version. It will be eight and a half by 11. The papers using for our virtual retreat, which is sold out, are, are heavier. And I found that they're too heavy. That's why I went down and we found a different paper. There's so, silver, the oh, there's that other silver. There it is to match your mixers in the kitchen. Okay. I, I will have this available in eight and a half by 11. This will be eight and a half by 11 and it will be available, I believe about March 15th. And there, there are only six papers. So you're going to be getting four papers of each in your, in the packs. But the eight and a half by 11, again, are very nice. This was all fussy cut. This wasn't even, um, I just took and fussy cut out all the scenes that I wanted and put it together here at the bottom. Now all I need is a little poo bear, huh? I could probably print him off. But if you are in the virtual retreat, this isn't the project. This is, but I don't want to show it all to you. because. But we will be creating um, with this. Again, fussy cut. And that's, I know, I'm sorry that some of you missed it too, but the beauty of this is you're now, you will be able to get the paper, the eight and a half by 11 after the 14th of March, it will be available for everybody and we'll have lots of fun things to go with it. So I want to thank everybody for your support yesterday and Sally for the beautiful job she did on our scene sets. My son did the filming, so I should have this credit here, right? But I, I have to thank Tanya Hart. She keeps my Zoom going, our Zoom going. She keeps the files going. She keeps um, any questions that you guys have with um, your address and files. Bonnie, behind the scenes, working the website. And she's out there making sure you guys, if I can't quit, quite get the question, she, she, she's been jumping in there. And our design team members, Sally and Jimmy. And, of course, my husband who puts up with all this, right? <laughs> And Wilbur, we I would like to thank Wilbur for bringing Wilbur. because he's on all of our papers. But I am so excited! I I can't wait to show you what's coming with Wilbur. But that'll be next month. We have so many exciting things coming. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And oh, thanks to Kim Reynolds of our own design team for creating uh, that project to help me with the debut yesterday, and Kathy Clements. I know her schedule is so busy, but that darling woman just made the most beautiful, oh, oh, oh to die for project. Die for. Yeah, it's to die for. I want to thank you all, guys. And so happy Valentine's Day. Enjoy the rest of your day. And again, like I said, if you don't hear back from me and you've asked questions, I'm not, I'm not ignoring anybody. I am just going to kind of disappear for the rest of the day. <laughs> so thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.